Okay, guys, we are back. We are back. And today we are doing a paycheck budget. We already did the monthly budget. So this is my paycheck that I got paid today. So we'll go over what needs to be paid today. It's quite a bit, but it's a lot lighter, believe it or not, than my first one. June first one, it looks like less bills, but they're bigger. <laughs> um, so this is where I keep notes and all that kind of stuff. So this for today, um, we anticipate for the next two weeks, I get paid bi-weekly. So I anticipate, I don't um, budget any YouTuber Etsy money. That's all considered extra for me. So we're anticipating about $3,270. And so this is what I need to pay. This number right here is wrong because I added a bill to it. So it's actually $2,392 that I have to pay. And I'll fix all that off camera. So emergency fund contribution, I'm doing a challenge for that. So I won't take anything out of my paycheck directly. I'll stuff my challenge for that. No extra debt payments. I'm not there yet. And no investing. I'm not there yet. So saving. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to add $83 to my sinking funds because my husband has a binder too. I'm going to add 90 to my new self-care binder, which is available on my Etsy shop. Uh, one month ahead, I'm going to stuff a category today, my subscriptions, and it's going to be fully funded. So that's one category already done already. Save your age. I'm actually going to save my age, $52 this time. My starter emergency fund. So that's why I was saying I don't stuff this because I'm stuffing this. I'm going to add another $50 to that today. My husband's binder that I've been starting for him, I'm going to add another $35 to that one. I'm going to transfer $300 to my savings account because I'm trying to offset that first check of the month because it's so heavy, you know, and this one is a little lighter. I figure if I just put up maybe $300 and save it to offset that first paycheck of the month. I'm also going to um, include it in the sinking funds is the $25 that I'm going to stuff into a new end of life binder that I am, I've started. And then my son's birthday is June 20th and we are all pitching in for a gift for him and that's going to be $100. All right. And that's that. I've already paid some bills already. The rest of them are probably auto pays. That's why I haven't done anything with them and i should end up with a buffer somewhere in the range of 133 dollars just in case something comes up okay so even though i'm only going to stuff my wallet in this video i am going to count all of the cash that i took out of the bank and go from there the other stuffings will be in separate videos so let's see what i got Can y'all believe it? We're working with $1,030. If I actually had anything left, that's the question. Essentials, looks like we got not much, but we got two bucks in essentials. Gas, I know gas is empty because we've been moving around too much. Spending, empty. Snacks, empty. Fun, empty. Miscellaneous still has two dollars all right so we got one two three four dollars okay let me grab this binder because i just put an envelope in the back of this one because i don't have very many challenges because i'm financially challenged so my ones and fives i'll put right here 
and this one. I have a savings challenge for this, but I just haven't listed it yet. So that's that one. All right, so I'm still not stuffing all of these categories. I probably won't stuff snacks and fun because I just don't have it. But we're going to start off with essentials. It's going to get $300, $100, 200 and 300 This is for groceries, um, non-food, household items, and food for Memphis for two weeks. All right, $300. Gas, I usually budget $50 per week. Normally, my car doesn't take the whole $50, and I end up kind of filling up three times unless we end up going somewhere out the ordinary. So $50 and $50 goes into gas to last us for two weeks. Spending, I already gave my husband $50 in, in spending money, and I'm giving myself $20, $40, $60, $80, $100 dollars for spending. I want my husband to have money in his pocket, even though he does not have any income. You know, he's still a man, and I don't just don't want him to be in a position where he feels like he has to ask me for every little thing. So I just set aside. He doesn't ask for much. It's hard for me to even get him to take it, honestly. I just kind of force him to take it just so he can have money in his pocket for things that he would want, and he doesn't feel like he has to ask me. And then miscellaneous, I do $10 per week, $10.20. And that is it for my spending wallet. All right. So we are all set and fully stuffed. Not fully, but who needs snacks and fun? Not me. <laughs> anyway, you guys, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget, give me a like subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified each and every time that I upload a new video and be on the lookout because I need to do my 2000 subscriber giveaway. So if you guys have any suggestions or something that you would like for me to give away, leave it in the comments down below and I'll just let majority win. Maybe if it's something that <laughs> I can actually provide. It's not monetary. I'm just telling you up front, but it'll, it'll be pretty and cute. <laughs> so leave your suggestions down below. As always, I thank you guys so much for all your love and support. You guys are a big part of the reason why I'm able to stuff my savings challenges and my sinking funds. It's been a long time since I've been able to do so. So I want to keep that momentum going. Don't forget to check out my Etsy shop. And if you made it to the end of this video, leave me some kind of heart. So I know you love me so much. You watch my whole video. Anyway, you guys, peace and blessings. Bye, y'all.